What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I like to do bookish challenges. I share queer books and I also like to make my own challenges and today we are doing just that. So I was watching Jesse the Reader and he was doing the do I have that other book challenge and I was like no Jesse I can't do that. So I went on to my community tab and Instagram and I asked you to send me prompts so I can go on a bookshelf scavenger hunt because you know your boy loves scavenger hunts. I already did one in real life so why not do one on my bookshelf? Thank you to everyone who sent in a prompt. If you would like to participate in things like this, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks. So I received 12 prompts and I'm going to set my stopwatch and just go start. First, I saw a translated book and you know what I'm going to pick. I feel like it's actually right here, which it is. Bear Town. It was translated from Swedish. Find a book that has more than three letters in the title. Thank you. Here we go. This is what I know about art. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven letters. A book you know nothing about because it's been too long since you thought about it. Um. <laughs> um I'm going to go back to that one because I kind of know every book that I own. Unless I just go back to my bookshelf, I might not know a lot, but I could also look in here. Um, Relative Strangers by Paula Gardner. She actually sent me this because I was a part of a blog tour and I could not tell you what this is about. A book that you forgot you bought. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to that one as well. I'm gonna go back to my bookshelf for the a book you want to read before 2020. No, a book you want to read before 2022. Just exposing my queer lit readathon TBR is Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating. A book that you're currently reading. I know you have more than one. Yes, you. Yes, I do. Uh, thank you for calling me out for that. The Dreamweaver. I started, and you can actually see the bookmark in it. A book set in your country on the come up by Angie Thomas because I'm in the US. This is a rapid fire book club pick. I think I'm gonna skip because I do not have one unless there's like a Reese's book club sticker on no. Oh honestly Anxious People is a book that I want to read before 2022 is over because it was literally on my January TBR and I uh, never read it so isn't that just awesome? I literally cannot get it. <laughs> I cannot get it out of here, but it does not have a book club sticker on it. Book by an author whose name starts with the letter D. Instagram, everyone was like, I am going to ruin Alex's day. I'm going to ruin his whole video <laughs> by sabotaging him. Oh, uh, let's see. I, if this actually exists on my thing like I have Benjamin Dean that's his last name not his first name this is gonna be a horrible angle because I have literally the worst lighting my bookshelf isn't just like the worst spot humanly possible but I am going to skip this one and go to the next and then I will attempt to find it somewhere <laughs> A title that has E-I-O-N-U in it. I had E-I-O, but not U. It's close. No.
The U is the hardest one. Wait. E. I. O. Oh, I got it. I got it. E I O U is in here. Here we go. E. I. O. U. Ha ha. Kathy, you thought that you could stump me, but you didn't. Let's go. Author you wish published more books. And then I have to just find the author with the letter D in their name and we'll be good. Um, an author I wish published more books um, is not on my shelf, but oh, actually, I do wish. Oh, Jenny Han. I know she is busy living her life on the set of her films and TV shows, but Jenny, I need more books. Please give me a new book. Please, I'm begging you. And now, the last prompt. <laughs> Let's see if I have anyone with the letter D in their first name. C. N. J. S. Who is this by? Krista. Elise. Sylvia. Jasmine. J. Uh, who's this? <gasps> Dude, I found it. Oh my god, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. We have Danielle Stinson from my TBR cart. Let's go. And let's wrap this video up. <laughs> With 11 minutes and 36 seconds. I think I killed it. Uh, let's just go over and see if I got everything. Listen, we can just ignore what is in back of me, okay? I, I just had a lot, of, a lot of things going on. All right, let's go over what we have. Find a book that has more than three words in the title. The counts as a word for this I picked. This is What I Know About Art by Kimberly Drew from the Pocket Change Collective. From Instagram, I got to pick a translated book and we have Beartown. It is translated from Swedish. Um, a book that you know nothing about because it's been so long since you thought about it. Oh, those are the two that I did not really pick up. No, I did. I picked up Relative Strangers by Paula Gardner, which I was sent and don't really remember much about, but I do believe it's something about someone's brother dying, but do not quote me on that. <laughs> I am going to do the one or like a book that I forgot that I bought. Um, I guess I could go with the one that's over here, but I do remember when I buy books, like I know that this is not like a, like a literal question, but we regret to inform you an overachiever's guide to college rejection. Why do I have this? I don't know. I don't know why I have this. Um, let me know if you've read it. I don't know. It just looks like it's about a girl who keeps getting rejected from colleges. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll read it for a video. I know I did buy it because I was like obsessed with Heather Demetrios, even though I only read one of her books. But after I read her, I bought like all of her books. And then I just never read her again. But I did see this author being like recommended with her. So, I don't know. I'll read it someday. We'll see what happens. A book you want to read before 2021 ends is Honey and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating by Adiba Jagadar, which I'm going to be reading for the Queer Lit Readathon. My TBR will be out on November 24th along with all of the other hosts and you can watch my announcement video up here if you missed it. A book set in your country I picked on the Come Up by Angie Thomas because I'm in the U.S. Um, a book that you're currently reading because I'm reading a lot. Well, I'm not reading a lot of books, but I am currently reading a lot of books. The Dreamweaver is on my TPR. Or like I started it. We could see the bookmark in it. Um, a book club pick I just I chose to skip. A book by an author whose name 
starts with the letter D, is Before I Disappear by Danielle Stinton. A title that has E, I, O, and U in it. You should see me in a crown. <laughs> um, a book from an author you wish published more books. Jenny Han, please give me more books. And then I also had an adult fiction plus some fantasy genre and the only fantasy book that I actually have, I believe. I don't know if that's true. This might not be like the only one I own, but I thought of Future Feeling by Joss Lake, which I believe is actually sci-fi. So maybe I'm wrong, but it's also adult fiction. So why the hell not? So that was me having my subscribers or followers control my bookshelf scavenger hunt. Thank you so much. I definitely am going to do this again. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting and thank you for choosing my video to click on. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video very soon. Goodbye.